everybody, aloha. 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 Welcome you all here to the World Famous Friend out here. This is the cave of the hanging ferns. So the mouth of the cave that you see up there is known as Mama Aku Alono. Oh, I just my breath. <laughs> uh, this cave here in the old days is once a temple or a shrine. This place is also dedicated to a god named Lono. Lono was one of the four major gods here in Hawaii, also known as the god of harvest. In the olden days, all the Hawaiian people they used to live down on the riverside were all farmers. So what they used to do is they used to bring some of their red food cups up here inside this cave with an offering or a sacrifice to the god Lono. Hawaiian people believed that they would have a better harvest the following season. Well, the only type of sacrifices we have here nowadays are weddings. We average maybe three to five weddings a month. Back in the 80s, we were doing three to five weddings a day. There are people all over the world that came here to get married, especially from California and Japan. <laughs> all except us the local people, we don't come here to get married. We all go to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> First lady who came here to get married, her name was Lola Albright. She was an actress in a TV series called Peter Gunn. She came here in 1962 with my grandfather, Walter Smith. Saw the place, she fell in love with it. She decided to get married here. Went back to Hollywood, told everybody else about it, and she pretty much started it. Yeah. We counted well over 25,000 marriages and revows that have been taking place with our company right here up inside this cave. But yes, we used to be able to go up there before. It was like a small amphitheater. We had a bunch of cement bleachers over here. Not more ferns, not more canopy. All of these shrubs you see here in the front was not here. Landscape is pretty much flattened out and it was gone. So we did everything in the bottom and then we sent everybody inside the cave and we rented them the Hawaiian wedding song. Acoustics are amazing. Well, we miss it so much. State had to close the park down in 2006. We had a series of rainstorms that year. They loosened up everything from the top, stuff started to fall over, state did no more. The grandpa put in the platform over here so the wedding now take place right here on the platform and we still get to bring you guys. Up. We have to do something to keep this business going, right? right. <laughs> All of the long ferns you see are hanging upside down above the cave of the Boston salt ferns. Hawaiian people call it kupu kupu. At one time, these ferns covered this entire wall in the mouth of the cave. Grandpa came up here in the early 40s with a bunch of boy stuff. Accidentally rediscovered this cave behind the wall of those ferns. Of course, Grandpa started the first boat tour in 1946. And yes, he did come up here in a little rowboat with four to six people at a time. 77 years later, all the boats at the marina docking area, Grandpa built all that right here mm -hmm. in Wailea River. He was an amazing man and we miss him so much. Thanks to him, we get to come here every single day. <laughs> <laughs> and we love it. This is our second home and we thank you guys so much for sharing. My, uh, Sombra slash cooler girl. I'm going to render you the Hawaiian wedding song like how we do all the weddings. Um, <laughs>